Yo, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to our channel. We have a very special guest on today's episode. This is Anita. What's good, Hello. Anita? Not too much, man. Thanks for the introduction. You know, I feel real special to be like here and, you know, talk, talking up with you guys about, you know, my origins, like how I got into sneakers yeah. and, and, you know, why I love coming here, of course, not just as a client, but, you know, as a friend, like I like chilling with you guys, yeah. taking all your socks. <laughs> so enjoy the video and we'll catch y'all soon. And buy some socks. My legs are all bruised up. <laughs> like I just went through a move. Maybe I got some muscle, like muscle mass now, man. <laughs> I was, I felt swole, dude. I was like, man, I'm so out of shape and weak. What socks you got? I got the brown shoe puggies, shoe puggy socks. These are fire, by the way. I'm not just saying this. Like I low key had a decision to make this this morning, this afternoon, and it was these or the Nike Crew socks, and these. Obviously went with my shoes better, my irons, but they went great with these as well. Uh, but they're just super comfy and it's hot as hell outside. Every time I come here, it's probably at least 100 out. Um, and these are always the one, and they were just in the box. I'm moving, it was perfect. I love these socks. I'm, I'm like not just saying that, like literally like all, out of all the shops that have their own, I feel like Jimmy, whoever you're going to has the best ones. Cause they're not too tight right here. And I've washed my shoe pug socks probably like three or four times already, and they're still like legit. Like, zoom in on these shits. Like, look at that. You know when I got these from you, dog? Like when you were by uh, uh, the California Pizza Kitchen. Yeah. So if they still look like this from whatever year that, well, we were still wearing masks and shit then, I think, you know? So yeah. that was a long time ago, man. And you got so, all three colors. Some puggy socks. We got some new designs in the works as well. But yeah, shoebugs.com. I need to get down with the puggy wore, socks, and you should too. Yeah, I wore them all day at Complex Con last year. They're flames. I got some air mags, I need some air mags. What? How much? I got an eight and a nine. The 2011? Uh-huh. Oh man, I regret selling mine. Like, I sold them because I need money to like move and stuff, you so. Sold them? So I'm for 10 G's at Flight Club. Damn! <laughs> yeah, this is like 2018, man. 2018, 2017. <laughs> I had to make it happen. <laughs> hey, what's good, everyone? Uh, this is actually unplanned. This is a part two, because Anita came back. Yeah, I had to come back. She, she, came, she came last week. She came by and... Uh... Shouts to Anita. Yay! What'd you pick up? What'd you pick up? Uh, the purple lobsters, and then I got finally the off-white Chicago twos. So I got the black ones, and I got the the better pair, in my opinion. So I'm excited to have these. Shouts to Jimmy, man. <laughs> Hook it up with a trade. Of course. Cool. And we got a bunch of new stuff that's gonna be in the site as well. Yeah, we recorded and there was a lot of good valuable stuff that I felt that we talked about in terms of just shoes, kind of like life and yeah. just, you know, what shoes mean to you. And so sure, yeah, she's yeah. back. So we were like, why yeah. not yeah. make this into its own episode? Yeah. So this is our special guest, Anita. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so back. So yeah, she's back. She's looking to trade for some stuff. She bought some stuff to trade uh, towards the stuff she's trying to get. So. Yeah. But yeah, how you been since I last seen you? Good, man. Those those smoothies came out. So, yeah. you know, that's funny. We were talking about like food and wellness. And uh -huh. then I didn't know that that was happening. You know? Yeah. So we would have talked about it, you know. We wanted to go, but we just, yeah. it's just hard for us to break away from the shop. Yeah. yeah. But we definitely still got to try it out. Yeah. We, so. we should all try it together next time I'm okay. back or whatever. Next Saturday, if it's still, it'll still be around. I'm, okay. I'm hoping so. Uh, I'll bring yeah. them and then we could just. Yeah, so if you guys aren't um, aware, CPFM and Erwan did a collab on a smoothie. Yes, yes. So it's kind of... We love, we I, love grocery I love, stores <laughs> and, you know... I love CPFM. It's, it's yeah. such a cool, fun brand. And then yeah. for them to actually do a collab with Erwan and do a smoothie, like... like it was so random. It was so surprising because I, like, I just went there the other day to buy food and then it, it like, showed up on so my was there, like, IG. So was there like a line? Like were people going there specifically to get it? Or? I mean, you could tell. It's kind of like when talk. you go to a sneaker thing or a complex con and you can see all the, you know, the, the people walking down the sidewalk like dripped out and like, <laughs> like you know, shoes <laughs> and like, like fitteds and, you know, just like dripped out, like looking fly. And you're like, wow, that's like a crowd of like, 
people into streetwear, sneakers, fashion, whatever you want to call it. It's all, you know, side by side. That's uh, cool. But yeah, like that's what I saw and I observed when I was sure. in line. But there wasn't a long line or anything. That's so cool. I don't think people like knew or yeah. cared or rushed in. But as soon as I left, it started getting crazy. Like it legit took 25, 30 minutes for them to make it. Really? Yeah. So I, I, I learned my lesson. I like, you know, didn't advance order the second, third time that I went back. Did you copy any of the merch stuff that they did? <laughs> so sad. Um, <laughs> It just makes me happy, man. Smoothies and sneakers, like no one else. Like I feel like me. Yeah. yeah. Did, um, did you copy the merch stuff? Yeah, I did actually. I was like, this is actually dope. The banana. Like I'm not a fan of anything in the uh, crotch <laughs> area, like graphics wise. Like I just never got into it. But there's yeah. like a banana there, and it's hilarious, and it's like it's cool. five days old. And it's like half brown. Yeah. And, you know, I just I don't know. I like those sweatpants. So I cop those. <laughs> And then I saw what, the hoodie. The hoodie looks cool. The Yuzu hoodie? Is that it how you say Yuzu? I think it says like Air One has like all the different cities and stuff in the back. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was pretty chill. It's like the like, uh, World cool. Tour yeah, Stussy yeah. Air One like hoodie. Like, who would have thought? But <laughs> it's so random. It's so cool though. But there's uh, one that was like a Yuzu, or I'm not sure. about Yeah, I really, right? yeah, I think cool. I glanced at it because Isaac had it up on his computer screen. I was like, what? They didn't know a drop yeah, of stuff. Yeah, that one was cool. And then like the smoothie long sleeve with the smiley face. Like I think the whole smiley face. Thing is kind of played out. Smiley face stuff. I mean, it's kind of played out, but I'm over it. But that it. that T-shirt with the long sleeve looked dope. Like I would wear that, you know, going grocery shop chilling. Like it goes well with shorts. So what did you? So what was your fit pulling up to this? Because I know you always like to come fit it out. My my fit today. Your fit to Erwan. Oh, to Erwan. <laughs> oh man, I was just wearing whatever I was wearing that day. So like, oh, okay. what was I wearing the Tupac shirt? Okay with the middle fingers. Oh, you went that day from yeah, here? Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I had to, because I was like, oh, I'm already all, all the way out yeah. here, and then I have to wait for traffic to kind of die down. So I was like, I'm hungry. Let me go get a smoothie, get something to eat. That's so cool. I actually went that same day. But that second time I went, uh, it was the the whole collab day. I don't know what I was wearing, but okay. they knew they knew why I was there. You know what I mean? For I had sure. a Supreme hat on, so they already knew. That's chill. Yeah. Uh, cool. Yeah, so. I got that tee from uh, Syndicate. Everyone was like, oh, that's a dope fit or whatever. I, I got that tee from Syndicate. That two-box shirt? Yeah, yeah. That's I traded cool. in some shoes for it. It was it was nice. Yeah, it was a pretty yeah. dope shirt. Yeah, I think yeah, there was like, nice. a couple of people asking like, oh, Yo, well, comments and shit like that. When yeah. I'm done with it, you guys can sell it to <laughs> all those people that were interested in it. Circle of life with the product. Cool. So uh, I don't think I've ever asked you, but like what got, what was, I guess a shoe that you can remember that like got you into shoes. Like, what was the right. shoe that like started it all for you, or one of the shoes? One of the shoes probably be like the uh, Air More Up Tempo, the Pippin. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I was into basketball first. Yeah, yeah. So I was nine years old at the time, I think seven or nine. I can't remember. It was like in '96, right, when they came out, and I went okay. to a Foot Locker. I remember everything vividly. Sure. You know, I got a pair in like a three Y, and I had my Rodman jersey. Z, like, because I love Dennis Rodman and I love Scotty Pippen. I can Pippen. already like picture yeah. you. Like, oh, I have a picture. Oh, yeah, my picture. I'll send it to you. Pull it send up it in the video. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, shoot us that. Yeah, so it's well. it's dope. I have a little jean shorts on, and Dang. then I have the the Pippins on. Then I have the Rodman jersey, and Swag. I'm outside the United Center because we couldn't Swag. afford to go to the United Center back in those days. So Jeez. took a picture right in front of it, sort of on the side. So it's that's <laughs> really you gotta cool. like squint and zoom in to see the Bulls logo. Yeah. But, yeah, because I'm originally from Chicago, so mm -hmm. uh, basketball was like huge for me when I was growing up. I wanted to be like Lisa Leslie and like be in the WNBA, like, you know, all that jazz. So that's the shoe that got me into um, sneakers and basketball. Awesome. And it's all closely, uh, you know, uh, related. And, you know, when Above the Rim came out, I was super into that movie. So, you know, I have a vintage Above the Rim shirt I wear all the time. I love that shirt. So all that stuff like correlates above the rim, like the Reebok collection, all that stuff that my parents could afford, not mm -hmm. the Jordans and, and whatnot. And then when I got older, um, high school, college, you know, I was flipping sneakers on eBay to get my collection there you go. built. Yeah. So I was really into Dunks, Code JPs, SBs. So not really Jordans as much, yeah. but I did collect them. Um, I had the 99 fours in high school. I used to wear those all the time with the tag fours. out. People are like, who, you know, what is going on? They have no idea, you know? And you, you fast forward to now, like everybody knows all this stuff, you know? Yeah. So those were like my origins of like getting into sneakers and everything else. So, gotcha. Yeah. 
That's really cool. That's really cool to know. I feel like you're generally like more of like a collector first. Yeah. And I just, I appreciate mm -hmm. that. Like, yeah. it's just, you know, like about shoes. Like. Yeah. So yeah. I just think that's just like a really cool, like, yeah. thing about it. So, yeah. Thank you. I well, that's why we get along. You know, we have a yeah. lot to talk about and aside from shoes too, right? So that's why we hit it off last, last episode. Um, or it's an episode now because we had so much yeah. content and footage from that trade, you know. For sure. So aside from the trade, we had good conversation. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm into, you know. I'm a people person in that aspect. Like, I love great conversation, especially when it's mutual interest, you know. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Got it. Okay, so I guess let's kind of dive into the shoes you're looking sure. to pick up today. What are you looking to pick up today? Hopefully the Haritos and then uh, what was the other shoe? The Ben & Jerry's. Okay. So there's some shoes that I left um, out that I was going to bring. So we'll just see where we're at as far as credit yeah, yeah. and then we'll go from there. Haritos. You want to do Haritos in the nine art? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, I think we have the one. orange laces, people with the orange laces. Nobody's wearing orange laces. I'm like, what's going on? <laughs> That's so boring without them. Or no one even took off the burlap. Get the burlap I saw, off of there. I saw some stuff on like IG, but like, I think it was more for like, oh, yeah, the yeah, unveiling yeah, yeah. of- Yeah, I've seen that too. Yeah, it's just like, and it's just for like, more so like attention or whatever. You but, know what, yeah. that person cut it like really like, he did it on the spot and he actually did a pretty good job. Cause it was like the, um, it was the same shape as the logo, I think. Okay. And it was like that little like rectangle thing that, I don't, I don't know, I don't have the shoes in front of me, but like, you get what I mean? Yeah. That little uh, thing around the logo. Yeah. And he did that, so it looked, looked kind of. Yeah, yeah. so the last time we were here, we were talking about um, how I mentioned you and Isaac can probably get along because you guys like to switch things up. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Did, he cut, so, did he cut the <laughs> unions yet? You know, when I got him in hand, I was thinking about him, I was like, he's actually correct. This would no. look dope as a low. He's, like, right. he's just agreeing, eating. <laughs> no, but like, so I typically just like the shoes the way they are, but there's one shoe that I actually think looks better cut up. And that's the one of the recent releases with Clot and Fragment on the Dunks that they did. The oh, white pair. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So wow, I haven't seen the underlay of that. It's really the cool. white silk ones, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Shout out to AD Sneaks because he posted up some photos of those, and I'm like, Oh man, you're gonna have to show me link me to yeah. his IG or whatever. I need to yeah. see that. Shout out Andy, man. He's always definitely yeah. killing it with the sneaker content. Yeah, and that's but yeah. So ever since I saw him do it, I'm like, man, I kind of need a pair, <laughs> and I might have to copy him on like where he cut the uh, second overlay, thought. Don't so. show me because I don't need another pair. Of shoes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Cool. So let me grab those. Get it check out first. Sweet. Dope. Yeah, see these with the orange laces, fire. Yeah, I but can I don't see have that. that. I can see that. They come with them actually. I can totally see that. It's like, everything just like peels after a while. You know that sad reality when you look at older sneakers? So this is from 06 and it kind of has like that peeling. I just noticed oh, that. Oh, like, yeah. That sucks. That happens on Sad to see that. Cool, so. Here are oh, sweet. I'm, so, I'm shocked you don't have these. Wait, do you have these? I have a brand new you pair, new but pair? I can't bring myself to wear them because like, uh, I'd rather just keep those. So check those out. We can take Thank them off the wrapper if you need to. Yeah, for sure. So I thought I saw like a little like scuff, but there is no scuff. So uh, even better. I don't really notice it. You can pop it out. Uh, is it, it might've been like this. Are you sure I don't want to make you like redo that or just no, need to like, <laughs> I'll come back for him. I'll make Isaac do it anyway. Part three, <laughs> part three. I'll make Isaac do that part. Oh no. Oh, these are clean. I always thought it was just a cool like inside hit. It says, uh, if it's not fun, why do it? Yeah, just yeah. Kind of a cool little detail. I mess with uh, Ben and Jerry's, they're cool. Yeah, I think this one is pretty, I've seen some pairs on the Ben and Jerry's. I get picky when it comes to Ben and Jerry, uh, the Chunky Dunkies, because some pairs on the cow print, uh, there's some pairs that have like a lot more white. So the patterns are different. Oh. So this one's pretty consistent. I was just gonna ask about that. This one's that. good. Yeah, this one's good actually. Yeah. I, I like this pair a lot. I feel lot. like it flows pretty good. The ones that have like a weird pattern, I'm like, are those Fufus? Yeah, like, I've they seen look some. mad weird. Yeah, yeah, I've seen some that like has a lot more white than yeah. the black uh, spots on them, so. 
but I feel like this is this no, is this is decent. This is real clean. There's no yeah. scuffs or anything on the um, midsoles, so yeah, and they're gonna crease anyway. So they're... yeah, unfortunately, I don't know what material they use on this, but it definitely it's creases yeah. pretty pretty easy. I heard it's not really that great. Yeah, so even like after one I... wear or two wears, is definitely gonna show on the creasing. But I don't know. I don't like creases bother me when it comes to shoes. Nah. But like for this, yeah, I would need this to be used for me. <laughs> my foot in it and rock it like yeah. no care you know you though. i have a brand new pair and i overpaid a lot for her so i'm just like did I'll you get the, the special box one or just the regular just the regular i feel like i was really just scared of the special box anything at that time frame uh -huh. and because of all the fakes and i yeah. am terrible at telling the difference um it's gotten way too advanced and out of hand for me to tell mm -hmm. like back in the day like you just look at the box and that was the yeah. idea way you just look at the shoe shape and it would never be anywhere near you know authentic now it's very scary so mm -hmm. it's just easier to just like get pairs from people i trust or yeah you know. i feel you on that yeah but for the special box thing like yeah that, <laughs> it just screamed like red flag to me i'm like i'm good i'll yeah, just get the regular one yeah. i don't have space for a big like ben and jerry ice cream pint <laughs> in my house like something like if you have a store it's nice to display but yeah personal space i don't want a bunch of like capitalism in my house like that you know <laughs> like on, this, on display but you get what i'm saying with the little rectangle like yeah they did and he like cut it that way on the side or whatever it oh, looks really? like yeah i'd have to run that video back but i'll send it to you that's cool yeah is that velvet <laughs> it's like that's what it, velvet it feels it's like, like. That's... I don't know exactly what that material is, but it's on a couple other SBs now too. It's like a it's like it. suede. I want to say it's a suede, or a, it's like a microfiber. <laughs> That's not that long like it feels nice. <laughs> I don't think anyone understands that reference. What I just said is, is that velvet. It's from coming to America. Oh. <laughs> I say that about like everything yeah. I touch. <laughs> is that velvet? <laughs> this is beautiful. What is that? Velvet? Come on, man. Orange. 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 You're doing orange, you already. Oh man, yeah, it's a wrap. All right, cool, so I guess we can start with the stuff up here. Yeah. Cool. And remember, it's got the little. Yeah. Oh, six. Pull up the list. Oh, you already got some prices and stuff? Okay. Yeah, like roundabout, like, cause it's like somewhere where I paid or remembered or I, gotcha. you know, okay, taking whatever for it. Cool. So it's near that, then go ahead. <laughs> I'm easy to work with. Yeah. So have you copped anything lately? Or? Um, I haven't. I've actually been like really good about like, I just haven't really picked up too much stuff. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of the newer stuff, it's cool, but like, you know, since like all I do is shoes every day, like <laughs> and with so the good. shop, so like, <laughs> I feel like us acquiring it through the shop, I yeah. kind of feel like it, I, I feel like if that it doesn't cover, come by. no, I feel like I've in a sense like had my moment with them oh. just because the shoes come through the shop. So it's like, you've already I, seen them. I've already seen them. That. So like, I've already yeah. kind of like experienced them. So like a lot of stuff I, I enjoy and I love, like it's definitely not something I would wear, but like, you know, I just don't get around to like yeah. telling it or, yeah, but. I don't know, just, there's some stuff I'm still on the hunt for, but, you know. You've seen one, you've seen them all, so it's like, yeah. it's hard to be impressed or want the urge to spend the money, especially when you're running a business, at least you're not, like, getting high off your own supply, <laughs> right? Like, Isaac, on the other hand, he, he picks up way more shoes than I do. <laughs> What's he eating over there? Hopefully not what I gave you earlier. No. Okay. <laughs> all right. That's funny. <laughs> Yeah, like you saw how my face was lit up when I seen all those like gems yeah, from today's, 04 to 06. Today's like, been crazy. Like I like seeing stuff like that. It's yeah. refreshing because back in the day, all the shops used to at least have 10 to 15 pairs of whatever. Yeah. Had, and now more and more shops are just. I mean, you have to carry like what your clientele, you know, mm -hmm. is asking for, and especially in that city or state, you know. But it's always refreshing to see, like, I know you do a good job with always, you know, having a variety of different 
um, eras. Yeah. Especially SBs. Yeah, I feel like with our shop, I mean, I try to carry the stuff that I appreciate too and yeah. kind of stuff that I've um, kind of uh, grew up, you know, enjoying like, you know, in terms of different times of my life that, you know, has made me who I am today. Mm -hmm. So it's cool like when I see all the older like, SB stuff because I can definitely relate to that time and place and it's cool because like we had a couple of people that came in today that bought in some like OG like like the stuff that you were going through just now. Yeah, yeah. And um, and they're like the original owners of those and it's just like, you know, I'm, I'm still trying to help my mom retire and all the stuff was just at her house. Really? Oh, wow. I'm just like, yeah, I'm like ready That's to like, so go sweet. of it. Yeah, and it's yeah. just like, is this cool because that those shoes meant something to that person mm -hmm. and he was just so happy to obviously like to get some money for them but like he was so happy to sell them to us because he knows that like the next person that buys them from us yes. is going to appreciate those shoes even though he had his time with them like the shoes aren't doing anything for him now because they're just still at his mom's house so mm -hmm. that's just cool like, yeah, yeah that cycle you know mm -hmm. like that's dope and then for you to come in and get the reaction i got from you like seeing yeah, that stuff yeah, it's yeah. just cool you know kind of yeah. it's exciting yeah because I think we started up like buying sneakers and, and whatnot around the same time. Um, just from our conversation when I first met you at the other location, trying to get those Dinosaur Junior Dunks. Yeah, that, that, was, that was a dead stock size nine, right? Yeah, the lace bag was still attached. I need to wear the, like I'm so, like I was just waiting for the perfect outfit time. That's such a dope like, pair. Yeah, trust me, I still, I'm not letting those go. Those are fresh. Like I can't buy a used pair of those because you know how people walk in them and yeah, you know, like that that material, like, oh <laughs> some people I'm like, what did you do in these? Which is fine, but like, you know, I'm trying to acquire them. I want them to be somewhat sure. fresh. But there's always something wrong with them. So I'm so happy I got that DS pair from you, what was it like three years ago That's or crazy. whatever? Yeah, I think that was the fresh you got from me, right? Yeah, yeah. Well I think I've bought a couple of different items from you um off your eBay. Oh, did um, you really? Yeah, from like way back when, or even like three, four years ago. I got a pair of the Neptune um, Dunk Lows. The Dunk you. Lows? Yeah, I, I had them shipped um, to Chicago though for some reason. I don't know why I did that. Um, That's really cool. See, yeah. I didn't even know that. Yeah, yeah. That's really cool. Yeah, I yeah. think I could pull it up. I don't know. I think it was from 2020. You know, you're just bored. So you're just like, oh, yeah. Try to find these. Oh, I love eBay. I love that shoe. Like, I think I got them from Active Mail Order originally. Yeah. That's just like a size like 12. I just got like a really good deal on it a okay. long time ago, so. It's a 11. Look like a size 13, man. Well, they're huge. <laughs> you know what, I um, I had a pair of these and I got them at the Nike outlet sample size nine um, for like nothing. <laughs> <laughs> and I think I just skated in those and I just like gave them away, but. Um, was I gonna say the original Smurf Dunk with the gum That's bottom? That's what I thought they were oh. when you pulled them out. Oh, you did? I was like, I appreciate she, you. Like, she, she brought a nah. Smurf. I was like, dang, okay. Nah, I'm not that, okay. not that OG uh, apparently, because I have never found a pair in my size. Like when I was first starting up, I was looking. Do you for like a pair. that shoe though? Yes, Smurfs? I do. You but I don't think it's worth like thousands of dollars. Yeah, going for yeah, now? I, like, I saw that pair on eBay. It's just crazy. Yeah, that guy's weird too. So. <laughs> that guy's weird. Yeah. <laughs> He's like trying to offer me on some shoes I had, and I looked at his sell, like you know, sellers, like items, whatever, other items, because he sent me a message. So I just want to see like what's up with this guy's profile, where's this guy from? That's so you know? funny because I do that too. Like yeah, when I go like, on eBay, this guy? Yeah. you can tell a lot about who you can yes. kind of like. It's a tip. <laughs> so if they're just selling like car parts, you can like lowball them and maybe they'll like be like, yeah, just take them. If you look through an uh, eBay seller's profile, you can tell a lot about who they are yes. by just how their profile is and the stuff they have listed on there. I'm telling you, back in the day, you could yeah. check people's profiles and see what they bought. That was yes. another like good way of like seeing if you would get ripped off or whatever, yeah. right? So yeah, there's so many different clues that now you can't do all this stuff, especially if they just sell sneakers because of that program. So it doesn't allow you to check their location where they're at, try to meet up with them, whatever, right? 
So yeah, he like shot me an offer and then I was like, okay, you know, this is my best. And then he replied with, just make sure to pack them properly. And I was like, does that mean you accepted the offer that I gave you? And then he's like, nah. <laughs> so then I looked at his thing and he had the Smurfs and I was like, I don't even want these Smurfs anymore because this dude is a trip, you know? And yeah. he just wanted way too much. And he was trying to like lowball me on my stuff and I was trying to compromise with him. That's funny. I was like, come on, man. Okay. Hand me back. Yeah. Pages. Yeah, if you ever need some extra laces, like for these shoe goos, like you want some SB laces, I have a bunch at the crib. Okay, so. yeah. Uh, yeah. Just let me know. It helps if they have like the OG laces. Yeah. But, I mean. These are the ones that are weird that came with them that like no yeah, uses. Yeah, they came with some weird like, laces on. Yeah. So these ones, you don't have the insoles for them, huh? No. Okay. I just noticed that. I just had them in a box laying around. Yeah. So I don't you know, so I've had them have for a while. So we might Yeah, no problem. The, the no insoles. No problem, I figured. These are good. I think they have the insoles all that. I've always wanted the lows back because I had them, but they were like a size or a half size too small. You know how like you just want to buy whatever? Like you're like, oh, I'll figure Trust it out. Trust me. Trust oh, me. That was a bad era of our generation yeah. of sneakers when you would just buy whatever size. These are cool. They're dope. They're super underrated, I yeah. think. And I don't know if that brand is the same streetwear brand that made all those shirts and stuff. I'm not too sure. On digital gravel and stuff. You know, if you know, you know about that. I like the laces All the on these though. T shirts they had for sale on digital gravel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, those laces are sick. Yeah. ACG vibes, you know. Yep. I don't know what the other laces were though. I think those were the ones to use, you know what I mean? I wish I didn't have to let those Kobe's go, but dude, they fit so snug. Really I'm snug. like, this is why I don't buy Kobe's anymore. I'm like, I don't even know what size I'm supposed to get. I like packs like yeah. when they do stuff in packs but like i just <laughs> and then it's so hard to get it out and, and it want to wear it <laughs> that's the only reason i wore those is i don't have the box i yeah. sold the white pair you know to like, yeah, kinda, yeah. like to compensate for yeah, that yeah. pair and i didn't really like i don't like all white sneakers so um i gave the buyer that entire box because it was on goat so i was like i don't care it's mm -hmm. not my shipping label <laughs> here you go <laughs> Would you like some Supreme stickers in there? I'll put anything that you want in there. But yeah, we'll see where we're at. And then okay. all those sneakers that, those brand new SBs and was it, the Homers, I bring those by too. What size are the Homers? Are they eight, eight and, and a half? half? Yeah, and they're super clean. Okay, I they're, might throw those. Yeah, they're barely like, they don't even look like they're worn, but they just don't have a box. They don't have a box? Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't think you care about the box. Those are super nice too. Like, you gotta be careful with those, the blue. Can like fade. fade. Yeah. My pair is like still pretty, pretty good. So, what was the other shoe that I was looking at that had that issue too? From that stack, forgot. <laughs> there's a lot of stuff there. I was like, <laughs> there's a lot trying of to stuff digest there. what. I don't know how soon I'm gonna be able to get through all that, but there's a oh, bunch of people already hitting me up because I teased some of the stuff on the Instagram story today. And it's just like hella people hitting us up right That's probably better than you don't have to put it on the website and that's probably a lot of work too, right? I don't know. Yeah, so that all that stuff earlier when you saw me downstairs. Yeah, yeah we just we got him in yesterday. That was the dude? Huh? That was the dude that? That was one. Oh, yeah. wow. <laughs> that yeah, was all he's, from he's always He's always buying from us though. Uh, he's like, what's new in my size? So I'll send him like 11 and a half, 12 stuff and he's like, cool, I'm pulling up. I'm like, sheesh. <laughs> Yeah, these are weird because um, there's another pair that looks at, just like it, but it's that satin the NBA one. one. Yeah. I think these were called like Moonlight or something like, like that. The, the Blue Moon. Yeah, man, we just had the Blue Moon. Oh, missed opportunity. Missed opportunity. <laughs> yeah, it was called the Once in a Blue Moons, I believe. That was like the long, exaggerated nickname for this. Mm. Came out, was this 2015? Well, Nike, uh, you know, was ahead of the game with that one. Because we just got our first blue moon in I don't know how many years, but. I think I'm going to hold off on these two yeah. guys here. Uh, yeah, I figured because these are just regular dunks. a little tougher. The yeah, it's tough. Are, they just don't have the insoles. They just don't have the yeah. People get picky on that stuff. Yeah, I understand. I love this pair. I, I have uh, another pair with the yellow laces that I wear all the time. Nice. I love those. I had to stop wearing them because they're getting kind of beat. 
We'll just do the trade for the Ben and Jerry's for now, and then okay. I'll bring in the other pairs for the Haritos part three. Part <laughs> I'm never gonna wear them with the orange lace. Cause it's like, uh, it's so close to that pair, you know? Cool, yeah, we yeah, can do that. Yeah. Gonna do that, cool. and I'll just pay whatever the difference is, and uh, I forgot how much you had those up for. Those were 11, we're at 1080. Oh, okay, yeah, perfect. That's cool, I got you. You sure? Yeah. I owe you a smoothie. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Air One uh, Down. Cactus Down. Say less. Flat Collab Smoothie. We'll, we'll put that in. Is that 20, 20 credit? <laughs> How much is this smoothie anyways? It's like 22. 22? It, it goes to a good cause, guys. It's healthy. Come on. Yeah. Okay. You gotta take care of yourself. Down. It's only a, a, like a limited thing, so it's not like yeah. I'm gonna go there all the time and, you know, grab that one. I mean, I just make them at home, you know? That's what I was trying to tell you. Like, I was like, dude, we should just try to make our own. Have a little cooking show at Shoe Pugs. Get a blender in, try to put everything together. We'll chef it up. We'll have chef unlimited it. cactus yeah. plant smoothies. Hey, come on, I'm down there. Okay, well, Anita, I'll, leave, I'll let you- uh, I'll try to find out what the ingredients <laughs> are, though. I'm gonna talk I'll to the girls that out. Like, Listen, I'm trying to make this at home. Yeah, can you, just, can you just walk me through thing? the process? I don't have one of those fancy blenders. I have like a little like- I think I have a blender at home, actually. Small so, there we trap go. one. Like. That's funny. <laughs> but yeah, appreciate you, Anita. For sure, thanks for the deal, man. Always good vibes, always good talks. Yeah. Always, yeah, shoes. And we'll do part three. I guess we'll do a part, part three. Part three, and we'll have smoothies yeah. that day. She owes me a CPFM smoothie, yes. so. But yeah, she's leaving home with the Yes. Ben and Jerry's. Super clean, honestly. Yeah, I really thought they clean. had like scuffs on the pony hair. I was ready with my shout wipe to like clean it <laughs> out and like do everything, but these are clean. I don't even have to, because I'm really weird about you shoes. Like these, no, these not. ain't stank. These are clean. Yeah, these are not clean. Stank. They're not stank. Condition, not stank. I, yeah, I put these on my feet right now, honestly. And, and oh, yeah. can't forget the socks. <laughs> got, the, got the shoe pug socks, so yes. always wrap in. She got the little I got on. you. When I'm gonna pick up my smoothie, I'll be like, look, peep the socks. You guys need a pair. Forget this collab. They don't have socks in this collab. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, but yeah, we'll probably do some more little sit downs with you know other cool people that come into the shop. And, yeah, for sure. Um, when we talk about shoes. Hell yeah. Yeah. Thanks a lot, man. All right. Appreciate you. Thanks, guys. Peace. I'll see you guys. back. Thanks. You're welcome. See, at least Jimmy hooked me up. I waited four hours. I didn't get shit that day. <laughs> well, I'm so tight about it. You weren't born and raised in LA, so sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. You got me there. So, are these going straight to the toe today? Yes, they are. I'm wearing them right now. I'm going to relace them. Or I might just leave them like that. I, that's what I did with my P rods. Yeah. I just left them like factory lace like that so they're just easy to throw on since uh, Isaac warned me about the pink laces disintegrating. You're welcome. As I'm touching them. Maybe it's bubble I'm gum. Kind of scared. Bubble gum? Maybe it's like, you know, the, the bubble wrap, um, the hubba bubba. Hopefully, someone like, look, business idea, remake these laces and so your girl can put them on oh. feet. Because I'm not trying to fuck with these. <laughs> They, I, I feel like I will break them as I'm taking them off and replacing yeah. them. It's like Big League Chew. Big League Chew. Yeah, for real. You want to show the people what you undies today, too? Oh, yeah, I undies it's always the irons. O3, right? Is it O3? I think it's O2. O3. O3. O2, O3, same difference, right? We were both close. Uh, yeah, I, I'm moving right now, or like, I already moved, so these are just sitting right in front of me, and I was like, Fuck it. Last time I talked to you, I told you I had these DS because mm -hmm. yep. somebody brought a used pair. And I was like, yeah. man, I need to wear these, you know? So it's kind of warm outside, all suede shoe. And I really wanted to wear these. Um, so yeah. they still look DS. Look at that. Just put it back pass, in the box. Pass the stock X verification <laughs> right there. <laughs> we were just talking about how they, that they just like send you whatever. But when you're selling things, they just reject you like right away. Uh -huh. You don't have like, a shoestring in, in place and they send that shit right back to you. It's like, bro, you just sent me some you shit the other day, but you're gonna decline my sale. Well, we definitely but, go on a StockX rant for days, but- Yes, that's, that's why we're here and not StockX or the born and raised line. <laughs> <laughs> Again, Anita was in line one block at a time <laughs> for two hours a block. But so, yeah. I should have just came straight here and not wasted my well, time that day. You know, we got you covered, so. <laughs> Appreciate you. Yep. She also brought us in. Waggies. 
some quaggies. Can you do the left? I, can, I cannot. Don't count on me on that one. But yeah, this is a desktop fair. We also have a used and also another desktop fair at the moment. So if you guys are interested, these will be in the site. And this one is a nine and a half. So, you know, it came from Anita. I wear a nine, but that's why we're doing it right now. <laughs> Can't fit a nine and a half. I just got those just cause. Cause I was trying to, uh, I was just trying to wait until my sides came through, but they're fresh. But you know they came from me. You don't have any indications on here or anything? No. They're good. 